Hello, my name is Ederson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhere.com and in this video I'll be talking about how you can add uh, a news module, news or article module to your .NET 2 website that is able to handle multiple languages as well within the same site. So in a previous video I have shown the a module called MLHML, which is from Apollo Software. That module handles well the plain content. The, it replaces the default text HTML with a module called MLHML, and you can do translation of content from there. But if you, if we don't want just a simple text HTML module, if we want something a little bit more complex, a little bit more sophisticated, like a news, a news module that can, that news article module that can uh, store multiple articles, multiple news, and needs to present those articles, those news in multiple languages as well. How, how, how about if we need something like that? So I, I have come across this module in a, in a project that I'm working on, and I decided to record this video to make sure that I capture the good features of this module. This module is called Succel News, and it's not, it's not that old but it does a very good job in terms of allowing articles and news to have multiple versions in multiple languages installed on your .NET website. So I do have I do have the installation files of this module in my local computer. I will not download it from here from Snow Covered, but here's uh, I'll be posting the Snow Covered link as well. I'm going to go back to our to my sample site. I'm going to log in as super user click login I'm logged into the back end now this module Succel news it is a, a regular articles new module with diff multiple categories with uh, the ability to have a, a, a list view and a detail view so I'm not gonna focus too much on that because again this is much this is really the the basic uh, news article type of module and it has that so the the real key thing with this module is the ability to have multiple versions of the same article for multiple languages as well so that's what I'm focused on so let's go back to our site I'm gonna go under host module definitions because I need to install the module now before I go installing, I need to show the site files of this module, the, the files of this module. When you download, you have this package that says unzip first. I'm going to go to the unzip folder and there is a news documentation that will show. Actually, it comes with a couple of different packages, a couple of different modules. And if we open the zip, the PDF file with the documentation, it shows the order that they need to be installed. So I'm going to, I'm going to right now just go through this order, installing them as regular modules. There are five different packages. So I'm going to, I'm going to start with the first one. So I'm going to go back to the site under the action menu. I'm going to go to install module. From here, I click Browse. Actually, I need to go to the folder. So here's a folder I'm going to open. Click Next. Click Next. Next again. All five files, they follow the same process. So I'm not going to show, I'm not going to record each one of those. So I'm just going to click Return. And now I'm going to come back in a second once I have installed all of them. So I have installed all five packages and you can see them right here under the, the list. You see all of them installed. Now, what the, uh, a good advice that they give is that the only real module that is required to be present in your module drop, drop down list at the top of your site right here, the only one that is really required to be there is the success, success news. Those four, they can be hidden and they can, we can avoid them cluttering the, the drop down list by, by setting them as premium modules. So we can do that very easily. Again, we need to keep those three active. And again, we have, we see three here because those three were installed when I have installed Succel News. They, those three modules were installed together, but these four modules, we can hide them from the drop down because again they are used by the module but behind the scenes we don't need to add them to pages at all so we can we can edit those modules 
and we can easily set them as premium and unassign them from the assigned box. So I can click update at the button, update module. This is done and then I can click cancel to go back and I will do that for each one of those four modules. I will just be hiding them from the drop down at the top. I'll go to this next one. Set as premium, move to the other side, unassign it, click update module and then go back, click cancel to go back. I'll do the same thing for a third one, Excel module framework. Again, those are system modules. They are not really required to be in the drop down. I'll go to the button and then I can click update module. I go to the button again, go to cancel to go back. And I'll do that for the last module, which is the framework. Go to the pencil. I will click move unassigned, click as premium and update module. Go back. And everything is done. So right now, in the module drop-down list, I will only have those three modules, Excel News, Excel News Details, and Excel News List. Now let's start using them. So we just have three modules. Excel News is the core, it's the core module. It needs to be to exist in the website. And the Excel News Details. We, we need to add this one to one page and I'll call this uh, news admin and it will be hidden. It will be only available to the admin of the website. Ne Excel news details. Detail will show the details of the articles, the details of the news and Excel news list will show the list of all the different news of all the different articles. So from here, I'm going to first thing that I'm going to do is create a page to hold the news admin. It will be the news admin page. So I'm going to call this news admin. Now this page should be visible only to admin. So I'll not be checking all users, but I'll be placing it under, under my news page. So here's my news page. I'm going to just save this, update this. And it's visible only to admin. That's fine. I'm going to add the Excel news to this page. Now, I'm not even going to talk about the, the settings of this module at this point. I'm just going to add, drop it here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is under the, the news page, I'm going to add this Excel list. Actually, under this news page, it will be just a list of news. So I'm going to add list of news to this page. And now I'm going to link the news module that I have added to news admin to the list here. This is what it says here. No core module was linked to it. That's fine. I'm going to go to the settings of this module and I'm going to link it back to that core module that is under news admin and it's pre-selected already Excel news core, which is installed there. And I'm just going to click update here. So now it's linked to a, to a, a core. Now I can add my news. I can click add news. And, and again, I'm not going to go to, through each one of those options, but the key ones are this. You have the locale at the top that you can say which language you are adding this article to. This is the end of part one of the video about the Excel news module.